Oh my lord, they made Orenberry Blissy viable! You know, I can't express how happy I am to say this, but it's actually true because we have OM of the month, which is original meta of the month, I believe, and it's called Max Berries, and I'll explain what Max Berries does just in a second. OM of the month is basically every month there is a different meta game where they program different stuff to work differently, and Max Berries is probably the most fun I've seen in a while. Basically, every berry has its effect a maxed out meaning that our fabled Orenberry right here heals a hundred percent remember back in 2019 or, or 18 or whatever that was when I made the video about Orenberry Bliss and everyone was like oh it's such a meme Orenberry Bliss you only restores 10 HP of a no, no, Orenberry Blissy viable 100% of the holder's HP. There are some banned berries, which is Jaboka Row Up, which would be amazing to see someone lose 100% of their health if they hit you. And Starfberry Harvest would be really, really cool to see. And I don't really know why Starfberry is a ban, because there is, you know, Haze, there is Clear Smog, there is Hard Swap, there is stuff like Knock Off even. I don't think Starfberry is super broken, like, definitely Jaboka and Row Up, but why Starfberry? Anyway. And there's of course bands, but let's let's just jump into actual team, all right? So baby, oh baby, we have Orenberry Blissy viable, and of course uh, I have Recycle on it. Uh, recycle actually, Orenberry will activate at half health. So if you have Recycle, you will always get back to full. If someone knocks you down to half, um, I have Toxic, Seismic Toss, and Stealth Rock, so kind of kind of normal Blissy right here. Um, Next we have my favorite lizard, and I made an unburdened set with Lychee Berry and Jure. Uh, and Jure is super, super popular here. Uh, of course, there's people who don't really use the berry at all. They just spam the most powerful Pokemon with like normal items, which is kind of boring. I don't know why people do that. You have OU for that boring shit. But yeah, people do that. But anyway, a Lychee Berry, unburdened, Leaf Blade, Drain Punch, Acrobatics. It's really, really good because you get really high speed and you get super high attack. And um, Sceptile isn't the best, of course. There is better unburdened users like Halucha and shit. But this is Sceptile. This is a lizard. We are doing lizard. Next, I have Scissor. Scissor is amazing. Honestly, it's amazing. First of all, it has Akaberry to get zero damage from fire, which saved me like four or five times. Uh, then we have Bug Bite to get rid of someone's berry and steal it. We also have Knock Off to get rid of someone's berry. And then I had an Orenberry, a Zapdos, a Galar, but I switched it out for a Scarf one. It, I thought it works better and instead of Bulk Up I had Throat Chop, I believe. Then right here I had a Salicberry, Gluttony, Belly Drum, Snorlax, so if you want to use this one then go ahead. But I noticed that people are just teched against this, so you very rarely actually get to pull it off. And then I also had Lancetberry Chinchino for Skill Link and Lancetberry just to to crit five times in a row but I actually replaced both Snorlax and Chinchino later on for like a Zapdos and Nidoking and there's different po you, you will see different versions of the team because I found that I struggle versus like the non-berry teams with like Corvi Knights everywhere and the very greedy ones with like uh, recycle cosmic power so I just gave it some taunter and I gave it some special attackers with heavy duty boots and yeah so you will see but basically this is all about Orenberry and, and Sceptile and, and Scissor basically is the core so it's amazing and I really really highly suggest that you try it out yourself and now let's jump into some replays okie doke so this is me versus enigmatic Eevee and they have a team like this so let's see what happens with this one I don't actually remember he actually re recognizes me says are you the and I'm like yeah happy to see the new vid he basically goes for pluck on my uh, Zapdos which is kind of okay I go a uh, pluck on his Wackenberry which is also kind of cool goes on brave bird and I'm pretty sure I knock him out but I actually don't uh, go for it because I go for the roost. He gets rid of my Akaberry, which doesn't matter because there is no fire uh, in sight. Uh, but yeah, I, I knock him out. And then I bug bite his Apicot Berry, so special defense all the way up. Here's a Fire Fang, actually, so the Akaberry was kind of useful. Here's a Belly Drum Snorlax, attack up, Salak Berry activates. I'm at half health, but I'm at, you know, basically sweep mode, and I go for this and I kill it. Here comes a Ninjask who thinks he can outspeed, outspeed me, sorry I cannot speak, but he doesn't. And here's his own Snorlax which goes for an Endure, which I actually didn't have, but here is a Speed Tie coming up and I lose the Speed Tie of course, which is okay, but we have Sceptile and he goes for Body Slam, he knocks me down to this, I just go Drain Punch, he's, he's, he's not, you know, plus attack so that's fine, go for Drain Punch, it's fine. Blissey comes out, I Drain Punch that too. 
dealing some damage. I recover a lot of health though. Uh, Thunder Wave is kind of annoying, but oh, so be it. Zapdos Galar comes back in. Calm Mind is not today, friend. Calm Mind is not today. I pluck and I get his Salak Berry. <laughs> so actual Sweeper Blissey is also just as interesting as I, or in very blissy, I would say. And there's a Zerky tree, which I'm not too worried about. I have four Pokemon and there's a defense drop. He kills me, of course, but I'm pretty sure that's gonna be it. He gets, he gets the beast boost, but doesn't matter. Here's my Chinchino and I actually, oh, he goes Endure, I go Bullet Seed, which is like, all right. Wiki Berry gets him back to full because it's another one of those full restores, which is fine. And I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna fucking end this battle here, which is cool. All right, cool, right? That's what, that would be nice. Let's get to the new one. So here you can actually see I have a Lenoon instead of a uh, Snorlax and I have a Flygon. Flygon was mostly to play around some Pokemon. I, I believe I had Taunt on this, but let's see. So here's Zabdos Galar and he goes Galvantula. I wonder what Galvantula is gonna... Oh, of course, it's Sticky Webs. So I pluck and I pluck nothing because this guy is not running berries. But he plucks my Oran Berry and then, then I was like, you know, Zapdos doesn't really need the Oran Berry. I'm just gonna run Scarf on it and then it's gonna be actually beating stuff more reliably. Okay, here's a Pukumuku and I go for Taunt, um, he goes for Counter and this is what I'm talking about, this is an Unaware and I was like, oh, of course it's Unaware, but I still went Lenoon. I mean, I realized that it's Unaware after I went Lenoon, so this Belly Drum Counter was actually gonna be kind of a problem. So I waste my Lenoon for no apparent reason. Also, I noticed that my EVs were off, so I'm at 51 HP, not at 50, so my thing didn't activate, but it's fine. So, a Tail Slap is actually not doing enough damage for him to counter me reliably. So, here's 5 hits actually, so counter hits, 14 damage. And I know he has Recover, so I was hoping I could kill, but I can't kill. And he goes for Aggo of Berry, goes for Recover, but doesn't matter because, yeah. And then I lose my uh, Lenoon to the counter, which is fine, I don't, I don't really mind. So here comes Blissey, and Blissey of course is gonna go for the rocks first. I kinda wanna have the rocks here, and then I go for Toxic. And he goes for Recover, which is kind of weird, um, I mean, I don't mind, to be honest. But then I go Scissor, expecting his uh, Toxic, and he goes for Counter, and I'm like, well, to be honest, I have Roost. I can knock off his Aggo of Berry, which I do. He goes Counter, does a lot of damage. He is on the timer, he of course has Recover, but it doesn't really matter, considering that he is on the timer, which, you know, increases in damage. So I just roost the fuck out, <laughs> like, I basically just roost, I don't even counter, I just roost. Well, I mean, I don't even play into the counter, I just stall turns, he's dead. Now comes the Snorlax, and of course Snorlax is fire punching me, but Akaberry says nope, and then I bug bite, and then I eat his Salak Berry, which was basically what he was trying to do, and then <laughs> crit, doesn't really matter, but here's a Blissey. I'm at plus four, I bug bite the Blissey, and I get Citrus Berry, which doesn't matter. Here's a Nihiligo, which I bullet punch, it dies. And yeah, and then and then there's a Weavile, which gets bullet punched and killed. So Scissor is definitely amazing in this, and I highly suggest you use a Scissor. Okay, this one is versus Minkara31, I believe he also recognized me. Pretty scary looking team, of course, full of like set uppers. Um, so let's let's see. Here's a Zabdosu versus Dormanitanu, I pluck. But Salak Berry, at, you know, that's cool. Belly Drum doesn't work, so that was his sweeper number one. So then he actually, it's it's funny because he's Belly Drum, Salak, and then Zen Mode, which kind of doesn't make any sense, and also runs Incinerate, but that, that's fine. Okay, here's a Drift Blim, I pluck him, I get his Pattaya Berry, but he goes for Clear Smog, and this is exactly what I'm talking about. There's, like, Starf Berry is, of course, scary, but there's so many ways to outplay it that I don't understand why it's banned. I mean, you'd really, really have to play very weirdly to get into the position where the Starberry just goes. Your team has to have no answer. Anyway, so I Toxic the Drift Blim, I go for Stealth Rock, Trevenant goes for Sunny Zay, which is cool, I Toxic him too. I'm pretty sure he has just, you know, full recovery. I go Moltres, which is another, and uh, now my team is like Moltres and not Nido King, of course, to answer Corvi Knight's Aegis Slashes. And I miss my first Fire Blast, so I lose some health to the Shadow Ball, which is fine, the second one will hit, right? So first I recover my health. Because there's still sun, so morning sun is actually recovering a lot of health. Um, he's on a timer too, but of course he has the orange berry. So I'm like, okay, and I miss my second fucking fire blast, which is great because then I lose more health to the shadow ball, where I kind of needed this health. You know, I wouldn't mind having this health, but I guess not. So there's my Moltres. He goes Pulti guys. I'm like, okay, this is this is gonna either 
totally sweep me with Shell Smash. And he's actually Defense Barry, which kind of, I mean, it's pretty good, considering I have Bullet Punch to save me. And then I was like, okay, so I cannot Bullet Punch this, so I'm gonna Sceptile, and I'm gonna do the Lizard thing. So I do the Lizard thing, he goes for Stored Power, I get my attack and I get my speed, and I Leaf Blade him, and he's kind of dead. And then he goes Cartana, and then, whoops, sorry, and then uh, he goes for Endure, so he's gonna do the same thing. And I actually kill the Cartana with the, the thing, but, you know, Endure kind of stops it. And then he's faster, of course, because times 4 speed is more than times 2. It doesn't matter because I have Bullet Punch, so Cortana is down. So all of his sweepers have been stopped. Here's Volcarona, and look at this. He goes for Flamethrower, but Okaberry absolutely stops it. It's amazing. Knock it off. Knock off the Gamlin Berry. It doesn't matter. And then Drivlim comes out, and then Drivlim takes a Bullet Punch, and I win. Thanks, Okaberry. Love you. So this one is kind of funny. This is like a very, you know... I do believe this was like kind of annoying. I don't remember. Okay, Bug Bite actually doesn't kill it. Counter... Yeah, counter... I, I was hoping it would kill, but it doesn't. And then I go Como. He goes Ndidi. I taunt, uh, but I don't taunt the right Pokemon, I guess. I mean, I don't know what Ndidi does other than Expanding Force, which it goes for here. But, like, I don't really mind. So I go for Rocks. He goes Aegislash. And then he goes Latias, and I went for Moltres to counter the Aegislash. And he goes the Fog, which is like, whatever, do, that's fine, I Air Slash this. And then he goes Draco Meteor, dealing like tons and tons of damage. Uh, it's actually kind of scary how much damage. And then I was like, okay, he won't go for it again, but he actually does go for it again. So that's kind of weird. And then I go Como O, hoping that he wouldn't. And he goes this, and I go Belly Drum. Which, once again, is weird, and then he goes Wobbuffet, and I'm like, well, come on, Wobbuffet is gonna die to a plus four, right? And counter, of course, is a physical move, so I cannot block it, and he survives the Ice Punch. So, my sweeping plans are kinda off, I am kinda losing here, but then he goes in DD, and I'm like, hold your horses, hold your horses, I actually am still in it. Goes for random protect just to stall his own psychic terrain, which is like, I mean, sure. So, um, Leaf Blade, goodbye in DD. Sceptile is in, boys. Here's a Aegislash, and I'm like, okay, this is gonna be kind of scary. So, here's the Swords Dance, and he goes for a freaking Shadow Sneak on my Zapdos in Psychic Terrain. So I throw chop him, and he dies. I was like, if I what, like Psychic Terrain Shadow Sneak is kind of weird. So I throw chop the Diggersby just to see what he's gonna go for, and he goes for Endeavor. So we're actually free to free, which is all right. So here's the throw chop, and then look at this amazing play. He goes Ice Beam, he crits me, activating my <laughs> Leechy Berry <laughs> and activating my Unburden. Thank you for your health, kind sir, that's very nice. And that's basically it because two Leaf Blades and game is over. 72 and yeah. So Septile comes in the clutch and wins the game and yeah, and then one more Leaf not Leaf Blade, what am I talking about? One more replay, one blah blah blah. <laughs> One more replay for you guys, and then I'm gonna be off. Okay, and here is the replay with the Orenberry Blissey shining like a diamond right here. Let's see. So he goes Zapdos, he goes Rotom Heat, and I instantly go U-turn into my Blissey. He goes for Nasty Plot, so I'm like, alright, okay, cool. So Thunderbolt does 29, of course, because I am a Blissey. I miss my Toxic, which is like, of course I do. It's, it's the first Toxic of the game. So. Here's Orenberry activating, though. So Orenberry gets me back to full. I Toxic the Rotom. He goes for one more Nasty Blood. Whereas I go for a Cycle, getting my Orenberry back. Which I don't mind at all. He goes for one more Nasty Blood. He's like, I'm gonna beat this Blissey. So I go for Stealth Rock, knowing he would do that. And then he goes for Thunderbolt, dealing 57. Orenberry activates. Recycle gets the Orenberry. And then how many times can I say Orenberry and he overheats and then nothing happens because I have Orenberry and Orenberry restores my health and then I recycle for another Orenberry so I can Orenberry again. Orenberry Blissey beats a Rotom Heat. Here's a Zapdos. I don't want him to pluck my Orenberry. So he plucks the small trace instead. And then he actually goes Claydol. Which is okie dokie, I air slash just in case. And then I was like, yeah, I'll just flamethrower, doesn't matter. I changed Fire Blast to flamethrower, and he also has a Orenberry, by the way. Um, because I was missing too much, and I was like, fuck this shit. Alright, so actually got the burn, that doesn't really matter. Psyshock does 29. Psyshock did as much as Thunderbolt at plus 2, so it's kind of funny. Alright, so here is my Seismic Toss, just to do some damage to the Claydol. I didn't really want to go for that um, Stealth Rock again. Didn't see the need. 
Uh, Moltres is kind of... man, doesn't really matter here. So here's Zapdos versus Zapdos, and I pluck him. He doesn't have the Orenberry anymore, which didn't really matter. I have full health anyway. Here's Scissor. I'm expecting some, you know, stuff. And here's uh, Bullet Punch. I was hoping I would kill. I don't kill. But he goes for Blaze Kick instead of Plug, so... Yeah! Scissor saved by Akaberry once again, my friends. So here is Perish Body, Salakberry, Corsola. Um, of course, it doesn't really matter because I just Bullet Punch twice. Yeah. Then comes out his own Blissey. I'm like, well, yeah, I'll take your berry, thank you. And it's a defense berry, it's a key berry. He aromatherapies the burn away, which didn't really matter. And I'm like, nah, I don't want to waste my scissor here. So I go Zapdos, and this is Zapdos versus Zapdos, and I, of course, win the speed tab because I am Scarfed. So that's deed. Here's a clay doll. And I'm like, meh, I don't, nah, I mean, sure. So here's Blissey. Eats the berry. Orange berry at that, and then stealth rug action. He rapid spins my stealth rocks and I'm like, well, I mean, here's the disease then. Eat it up, boy! And then he goes to his own blissey, and then I stealth rock again, and then I go to my Zapdos, because I'm like, well, this is basically kind of, you know, kind of over. So he gives me the disease, and then he goes Claydol, and I'm like, Thunder's Kick is just gonna slay everything now. And it does, and, and, and I mean, I just scarf Thunder's Kick, yep, and that's, that's dead. And then comes out the Zerka tree, which I still don't understand why that's even a thing anymore. Alright, it drops the defense, gets the Salak Berry, which doesn't matter of course, because I have Bullet Punch Scizor. And if I didn't, that would be really, really bad for us. I mean, I still have the Blissey, which wouldn't be that bad, but uh, yeah. So Bullet Punch and Jord doesn't change a single thing here, because I follow it up with another one. And then it's like, um, I mean, you don't beat four Pokemon, including a Scizor, with a Blissey. But the guy decides to soft boiled, um, and then I bug bite, and then he soft boils, and uh, then I bug bite, and then he soft boils, and uh, and then I bug bite, and he soft boils, and then I bug bite, and then he soft boils, and then I bug bite, and then he soft boils, mm, yeah, and then I bug bite. And then he seismic tosses, and that's 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 kind of it. So don't be like this guy. When you know you lose, don't just waste useless time for that. Anyway, this is Orenberry Blissey. I love this meta. Uh, I really encourage you to experiment with it. Uh, team will be in the description. The previous team, I mean. So feel free to change it and feel free to have fun, of course. Um, and yeah, it's been it's been me and it's been Orenberry Blissey and you know Lichiberry Sceptile. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys. During the weekend, I believe. We'll see. Anyway, bye.